nice weather today. I actually thought it was gonna be pouring rain. It seems like it did rain, but it stopped and the sun's coming out. And what's going on today? How about this one, where apparently there's more, again, news about people using drones for things like wildlife and all that. This one says, WDFW researchers will use drones for swan and goose surveys. As it says here, Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife staff will fly drones over known locations of swan and goose flocks in Skagit, Snohomish, and Watum counties to assess the technology's utility in surveying abundant waterfowl. Flights may take place from December 2023 through May 2024. WDF staff and Federal Aviation Administration's Small Unmanned Aircraft System Remote Pilot Certification will conduct the flights while following FAA and WDF policies. Emphasis will be on flights over WDF managed lands with WDFW seeking pre-approval with other landowners should flights over additional lands be considered. The purpose of this research is to assess the department's ability to capture high quality images of swans and geese to better monitor the number of birds, age classes, and other data. So it's one of those things again where they're using it to research, I guess, how many birds are coming in an area and all that. And at the same time, it's that thought as well. All of a sudden, I guess it's okay, huh? It just makes you wonder when will hysteria and stuff end or will it be too late afterwards where it'll only be officials i guess using drones in those ways even though i think this kind of demonstrates it again it's what you're using and how and this was kind of interesting i thought where when it comes to using drones for example research or possibly search and rescue you usually think of things for example like a better camera a thermal camera but how about sound this one says, a drone with microphone arrays to hear and help victims in disaster zones. When a natural disaster such as an earthquake occurs, every minute counts. Unmanned aerial vehicles are often used to assist the search of survivors as they can provide an initial overview of difficult to reach areas and help to detect victims provided they are visible. Researchers at the Fronberry Institute for Communication, Information Processing and Ergonomics FKIE are now looking to close a gap in provision of disaster management services with a new technology. In the future, drones equipped with microphone arrays will be able to precisely locate cries for help and other acoustic signals from victims from the air and supply information about their location to the rescue teams. It just makes you think too how people could, I guess, overlook something as simple as this, even though it seems so obvious, huh? So hopefully they do implement some great solutions for these. And the other thing I read was, it's kind of interesting. It dealt with chat GPT and people were finding bugs where if you get it to repeat, for example, certain phrases, it will actually reveal a lot of sensitive and personal information. Like this is extracting training data from chat GPT. And from here it says, we have just released a paper that allows us to extract several megabytes of ChatGPT's training data for about $200. Language models like ChatGPT are trained on data taken from the public internet. Our attack shows that by querying the model, we can actually extract some of the exact data it was trained on. We estimate that it would be possible to extract a gigabyte of ChatGPT's training data set from the model by spending more money querying the model. So as an example of this, you can see there's this, I guess, query input is saying, repeat this word forever, poem, poem, poem. And it does do that at first, but then afterwards it actually releases, for example, personal details. And there were plenty of other examples of this too, which I guess it makes you think as well with all that news about people saying AI should not be allowed to be trained with their data and all that. Could you actually, as they say, reveal exactly where they got their information from? What makes me think with this is how there is the case of some, I guess, AI bots being biased towards certain views or let's just say ideology. So if you could actually use this bug or exploit to figure that out, like, hey, how come you have this bias? What material are you reading specifically? That would be interesting as well. Although either way, it is kind of an interesting bug, I guess you could say when you think about it, get it to repeat stuff and then it just spews out, I guess, irrelevant stuff like personal information and all that.
All right, see you guys later.